and gentlemen, the Trinidad and Tobago Film Company Limited are in collaboration with TTT Limited and Export TT are presenting a brand new television series. And this morning, we have with us the executive producer, Leslie Ann Wills Keaton, and the showrunner, Mr. Richard Ragubasing. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Thank How are you all doing this morning? We're good. We're good. All right. So let me start with you, Leslie Ann. I mean, you had this script to screen. Mm -hmm. competition i want to call yeah, it yeah yeah and then out of that competition we have this show coming out um tell me firstly what motivated you to to conceptualize this this concept for the competition right so with film tt we have capacity development programs and what that is is really upskilling and building the abilities i'm getting our filmmakers and content creators to learn new skills and so instead of just having workshops and mm -hmm. seminars and sessions to me, the main thing is output. So as a film creative, as a theater professional, as an actor, you can do a workshop, but if you're, you don't have a body of work to show, right. then that's not really what we look at. Mm -hmm. And so with the- Because it's not measurable, right? Correct. Right. And so as much as possible, once we're doing projects, we look at output. So doing the TV series, instead of just paying to train, we mm -hmm. actually train with output. We have audience engagement, we build industry, there's visibility, and there's a new skill that's learned. So it's essentially on-the-job training? It's on-the-job training. Richard, why did you apply to be a part of this? Actually, I was in a, a script writing class. Uh, because um, writing for film and television is not my forte. Mm -hmm. It's new. Right. Um, even though I've been interested in it for years, so I've read a lot of books on it, but I was doing a class, and Leslie Ann was part of the class, mm. and she had sent me the information about the, the competition, and it wasn't that far away from the deadline, actually. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, uh, should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I? Should I? Should I? And eventually I said, you know what? Let me just try. Yeah. Let me just try. And I just jumped in. And I had different concepts in my mind because I've always thought about writing a television series. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a remote thought. Right. And then I, so I always had different topics that I was interested in writing about. And Mixed Up was one. And I said, you know what? I did a kind of quick poll of people. Which would you like to see? Because mm. I had so many ideas. Right. And people generally chose that one. So I said, okay, I'm going to write that one. What's the, the biggest difference so far that you've determined from writing for theater versus writing for film or TV? Film is so visual and very technical. It's a very technical medium. Mm. And so you always have to keep that in the back of your mind. Um, whereas theater is very dialogue driven and very much, um, it's a really an actor's medium. Mm. Whereas film and television, is there's so many technical people giving their input from mm -hmm. editor to yeah. director to camera personnel. And you know, there's so many things, yeah. production designer. I mean, you have some of overlap in theater, but that was what struck me about it. And of course, there are very rigid formats in how you write. Right. And, and, and so you had to follow all of that and, and you had to understand how storytelling is built in that format. Okay. Vis-a-vis -vis theater, where it's like a movie you're watching. Right. And so it, you, you, you play out the entire scenario, yeah. and actors are on stage live, and you have no chance of retake. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing like that. Okay. And so you have to structure it in a particular way, because it's different scenes. Yeah. And, and you generally have two or three storylines in any episode. You'd have a main storyline, right. and then you have these other sub-stories happening. That and you all the stories have to kind of finish per uh, episode, but also kind of leave you yeah. wanting more at the same exactly. time. Exactly. So, ah. so, so it was an interesting um, project to, yeah. to engage in. So I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, Leslie, you, you mentioned all of the people involved, all the technical people, and you mentioned upskilling and training. So, um, you know, the training technical people is one aspect of it. Training the actors, training the, the writers, yeah. all of that upskill is happening. How are you managing that from a financial perspective? I love that question. We were able to go to investors mm. and sponsors. And I don't like to say sponsors because as a as a film industry, we look to get the investment. So we had Fens Mohammed, Fens. Friends and furniture mm -hmm. come on board. We had Dwellings Limited, we had the home store, we had ABC Molding, mm -hmm. and we were able to show the value of the partnership with product placement. Mm -hmm. And so with anybody of the, the on the job training and the TV series, now we have product placement. Mm -hmm. And so now the companies can see that their product is there available to showcase. And that managed our financial element of it quite a big deal. Down to the, the wire, Richard, as a showrunner, was able to you know call in and get the investment.
investment and get the sponsors. And so we were able to show the value of it. And with the TV series, that is the intention to show go to more investors mm -hmm. and more companies to show the value of quality content, good programming with the product placement. So nice. that helps. So Richard, tell us what the show is about. Well, Mixed Up follows, the sto uh, follows a Trinidadian uh, family, a Trinbegonian family, I should say, mm -hmm. um, of mixed ethnicity, an Indo-Trinidadian um, wife, an Afro-Trinidadian husband, um, so they're from two different ethnic backgrounds, as well as religious backgrounds. Oh. And they have mixed, of course, ethnically mixed children. Right. And you have two opinionated grandmothers on either side of the ethnic divide, who, of course, can't stand each other. Right. And, of course, bring their um, values and opinions to bear on the family unit, which, of course, creates confusion and mayhem at certain and points. And bacchanal. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, the show happens in bacchanal. <laughs> so, yeah, a fair measure. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, in terms of, you, you mentioned things like retakes, you mentioned being able to do those things. I mean, how many of those do you do? Because for, for somebody with a theater background, you're custom, we go and we get it done. Mm. If we don't get it done properly tonight, we're going to try again tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, oh, that's yeah. It. And you'll get notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Boy, oh boy, do you get notes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but um, how, how do you manage that from a film perspective, from a TV perspective? Is it that you go home after and you say, well, nah, this wasn't good today, let me do it over again tomorrow, from a budget no, perspective? No, 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 you have to get it. I mean, at the point that you're doing it is right. when yeah. you get it done. So if, if you weren't satisfied with that take, you take another take, another take. But, but prior to that, remember, there would have been a rehearsal process mm -hmm. right. before we actually got on set with the actors. Mm. Uh, so that rehearsal process, by the time they get there and by the time they're waiting for technical setup, they're running lines, they're going through blocking. Right. So all of that is taking place. So by the time they get to set, they pretty much know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. And what you're really looking for is what is the best interpretation or what, whatever little bit of magic happens that, that you didn't the, expect. As the showrunner, do you also have control over the camera angles that they choose and that kind of thing, or is there somebody else dealing with that? Well, as the director, okay. really, yeah. Okay. I mean, the showrunner really is the overall creative manager. Mm -hmm. So I could have an input and say, well, I think we should. You, can and you, I think we should. Uh, yeah. uh, can we? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he does. I hear you. It's his world and it's his story. Right. So yeah. in terms of even with the upskilling and the training, we know what Richard brings to the table. And so with the merging of the technical and the TV series side of it, we wanted to make sure that he's very aware of what he can do and what he can add mm -hmm. to it. And of course, even getting the technical side and the filmmakers on that end to understand the importance of the showrunner in terms of the story building. Right. So Richard, I normally say Richard has the last say. Right. So I'd be like, Richard, do you want this? Do you like this? He has to say yes. Well, as the executive producer, I mean, are you are you happy with the finished product? Is it is there a finished product? Of course. It's absolutely we, finished? Yes, and we're actually currently editing, and we do have a red carpet on the 27th of June. Nice. And um, I am, because what I like is that as a pilot project, it is for us to see the process. Mm -hmm. We could learn from it. What we did at Film TT, it's available for anyone in the industry to come and ask us, okay, how much did it cost? What's the process? How do we get involved? And this is why we had a lot of behind the scenes visuals. We want people to see it. Mm -hmm. We want them to say, oh, I could do that. Oh, that's easy to do. We want them to know that this is something we, you can do and take advantage of. You know, I want to ask. Yeah. How much it costs? We still finalizing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, right. No, but actually, but you know what? At the end of at the end of it, we will provide all of the details yeah. and we will provide all the figures. And we will say from the sponsorship and the investment standpoint, uh, quite a significant amount of funding was subsidized based on that input. And how do you measure the success of it then? When when we have well the beauty of it is five episodes. Right. So measuring it is well. So it's like we, a limited series. A mini series limited, yes. yes. All yeah. Right. I, I so the, Again, for me, creating content, normally you'll see people say, we'll do a pilot. Right. I, I don't believe in that because then you can't sell a pilot. You can sell a limited series. Mm. So even if it's showing on TTT, then we could take it up the islands, we could take it internationally. There is income coming in and whatever money comes in goes back into the film fund. Okay. So we could create more content and more series. So nice. that's the value. So we are able to measure it from the audience engagement. We want people from Trinidad and Tobago to see content being created in Trinidad and Tobago. And we want the theater and the theater community to say, let's do some more TV series. And we want the film industry to say, we can do television series as well. Richard, would you encourage more theater practitioners to do TV? Uh, absolutely. I mean, a lot of them um, are involved 
as part of as the acting pool, right? Because the the most actors in Trinidad come from theatre. <laughs> that's where you. That's where you. Hold I think. Your, I think in the world, you know. Your craft. I think yeah. in the world, you know. Yeah. Like, like most times when you hear people's background, like these big Hollywood actors, yeah. they all start off in theatre yeah. as well. Yeah, but they always say actor. Well, well, big big actors often say when they want to get back to acting, they go to stage <laughs> because because film is such a technical medium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Um. Um. So a lot of we have a lot of that feeding into it. The storytelling, I think theater people, especially the playwrights, and we have quite a few playwrights in Trinidad and Tobago, understand storytelling. Yeah. And it's how you um, marshal that storytelling from theater and mold it into what is the film structure yeah. and television structure. So right. I don't think we are far removed. Mm -hmm. So June 27th is the launch date? Yes. Absolutely. We're looking forward to June 27th where we can see mixed up uh, the, the red carpet premiere. We got Agula and Faga invitation. No worry. <laughs> she said, I'm right here. Well, let me say thank you very much to Leslie Hanwell, <laughs> the executive producer, and Richard Ragobasing, the showrunner for Mixed Up, a film TT, TTT, and export TT series coming soon. Stay tuned. It's now morning. Shall we take that break and come back with more? Thank you, guys. Come, let me come together and mix up, mix up.